watching episode 15 of our Ford Transit minibus camper conversion. And this week, we're building our bench seats. Hey guys, so it's week 15 now, and this week we're actually going to be working on our benches. We don't have all the things that we need to do part two of our kitchen, so we're going to leave that a little while. So that's enough from me, let's go on with the video. So we started with the bottom frame of our benches, just like we did with the, our kitchen framework. We're using 18 by 44 millimeter timber struts from Wix. Nikki measured and I cut, and once we had aligned the framework, we drilled it together using some eight centimeter long screws, going directly through both pieces of wood. Once that was done, we moved on to the legs of the framework. We used some 44 by 44 millimeter wood, which we cut into five 42 centimeter pieces. We then drilled these into the bottom of the framework, going straight through both pieces of wood, rather than using the pocket hole jig. We put the framework back into place in the minibus, and then measured for the top frame. We then drilled the top frame together in the exact same way we did with the bottom and once this frame was done, we placed it in on top of the bench legs. Cool. Well, let's screw that in. Yeah, happy. Alright guys, so this is where we've got to so far. So we're quite happy with the frame that we did on the top. It was all really quick and easy. We've done this in about the space of an hour and a half or two hours, I'd say, the whole lot. So it's been nice and quick. Um, but yeah, so what we've done is we've just screwed these in at each end just for a nice bit of support. So they're nice and strong, nice and sturdy. They could probably just take my weight right now as it is. But yeah, we're obviously going to put on a nice bit of ply. I think we're going to leave that till tomorrow. But all there is to do now is to screw in the top frame into the support battens and then screw it into the chassis of the van. So yeah, we're doing quite well today. But yeah, I think we're going to call it a day after this. We're just going to finish that up now and then onto the ply tomorrow. Okay guys, so it's Wednesday today and we have just measured out the plywood top for our bench. Um, Nikki's just stenciled around the frame that we have and we're about to cut that out on them lines and then fit it in and start thinking about some storage beneath it. So we're gonna do that now. So this is half of the bench, obviously. And basically we're gonna draw a line down here, jigsaw that line out and then put hinges in between this piece of wood and that small piece of wood so we can open the storage bench benches like that and just get into them easily. Alright guys, so we've laid out the bench the way we think we're going to have it and we're going to secure it in now using some 4x30s back screws. So we're just going to get on with securing this left side now. Okay guys, we've just screwed that in and there's gonna be two hinges or three hinges, however many we end up getting, between these two pieces of wood here, just so this opens and closes like so. And we can put all our storage in yeah. under our bench. Okay, so it is Thursday today, and Harry's not feeling very well, so, and we were meant to cut the side of our bench. So I'm gonna get on with that myself, see if I can do it. Um, not sure when he's gonna get better, so I might try and like surprise him with like getting a lot more done than I said I was, so, yeah, wish me luck. It's a one woman mission. <laughs> Hit the 
in October, it feels like summertime I keep falling for you like every night Been communicating through satellites, yeah It's black and white I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow, just like day by day Like day by day I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow Okay, so as you can see, I'm on the last piece but it overhangs the actual bench. What I've done is I've marked behind it in pencil. You can see it here. Um, and hopefully I'm gonna try and jigsaw that out so it fits perfectly and like flush. So I've done it. It looks a bit dodgy. So I'm gonna sand it down. Well, I'm gonna put it in there, see if it fits. Then I'm gonna sand it down. We'll see what happens. But look at that. Ain't never coming down unless you call my name. Yeah, we should take it slow, just like day by day, like day by day. I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain. Ain't never coming down unless you call my name. Yeah, we should take it slow, just like day by day, like day by day. So it's pretty dark now, but it's later, much later. And I put five coats of that Leyland Brilliant White glossy paint onto this cladding. It kind of made them stick together because obviously they're not actually glued or anything. But yeah, I put four or five coats on here. Um, I think it looks pretty good. And now I'm just going to attach it with um, some spack screws, these ones. And that's it for today. Maybe I can get some more stuff done tomorrow, but we'll see. It's Friday now and I'm going to try and do our second bench seat by myself. Harry's still not feeling 100% so I'm going to try and surprise him, he doesn't know I'm doing this. I'm going to try and surprise him and do the second bench myself with random bits of wood that we have left over. I don't want to go out and buy loads of new stuff when we've got old random bits that I could probably just use. So I'm going to get on with that now and I'll update you as I go. <laughs> This week me and Harry have basically done one bench and I have basically started the second I've only got to the cladding stage I just really don't want to finish this by myself because cutting the cladding to the right size and stuff is a bit of a two-man job so I think that's it I think it goes to show if you're a woman or a girl looking to do something similar to this and you don't have like a partner or a boyfriend to do it with then go for it do it yourself you can easily do it, it just takes a bit longer when it's one of you but so anyway, please like the video if you liked it, and subscribe to our channel, and we will see you next week for probably more of the kitchen stuff. So yeah, 
See you next week. Bye.